Hello everybody, welcome to the GG Tour Final. We've got Jay Leave and his Dark Elves versus Muria and his Lizardmen. In the booth with me is Dimmy G the Champ. Hello. Hello Jimmy and welcome everybody to the final of GG Tour. It's been a long, long weekend. We're at game six for both of these guys. Uh, probably they're like 10th hour of Blood Bowl in this weekend, I guess. Mm. And uh, We've got an interesting matchup as well, like uh, racially as well. I think the uh, Lizard Delfs is uh, a, f a close one. It's a close one, so we'll have yeah, a look. I think it's very close to 50 50. Um, the Lizard Men have gone a bit different from normal. They have t they have gone traded the third reroll for a, a reserve um, and still have the Apothecary, so obviously that kind of favours them a bit in overtime, like. You know, they've got the extra men for a bit more reliability, but of course, uh, the Kequity is not helping them with only two reels. That's an interesting choice, but a bit more robust, but oh wow, not being able to go for maybe as daring players as they would do if they had three rerolls. The Dark Elves have gone from nearly a normal team, but they've gone a few different things. They've gone leader instead of dodge on the runner, and they've gone a tackle over a dodge on the blitzer there. So they've only got four blodges, which is, uh, or rodgers, which is. Not very much, is it? Normally you're looking at six of those, uh, well, six dodge at least. Oh, it does pick up a Kaz on the uh, LOS as well. Hmm. Not Apode. And uh, that caps the Delphs at ten. Yes. Yeah, d neglecting to use the Apo on a, on a rookie line. Plenty of positions Which to is, use that on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> but not, uh, like, I, I, I guess Maria would be happy with that start, to be fair. Mm. Very Stop happy with the ball. Got the ball in a big cage. And yeah, stabilisation. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah instant stabilisation. Oh, which. Which, yeah, which exposed. I'm personally which not a fan of the tackle, but it, you know it has come in useful in some of the matches, didn't it? Like the goblins that he played in the quarterfinal. <laughs> uh, in the Semi-final, Jim. In the semi-final? No. Yes, semi-final, yes. yeah. In the semi-final, Jim. Semi we, had, yeah. we had goblins. Yeah, we had goblins. In, in the semi-final. We had goblins <laughs> versus Dark Elves and Nurgle versus Lizardmen. So, like, unbelievable. Like, great runs from those two. Yeah, great run. Yeah. I think Yad was the star of the tournament in just about everyone's eyes, isn't he? Mm, but I mean, you shouldn't shouldn't neglect uh, Nurgle, right? That's an incredible run yep. by uh, the Bigfoot. Like, I, I would also like to highlight uh, Maria's Saurus that did the five plus six plus five plus two plus two plus yeah. as my star of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> we have ended up with two of the traditional heavyweights of a sort of NAF style format: lizards and dark elves. Yes. Yes. Hello, PC. As well, by the way, purple chest in the Hello. house. <laughs> but yeah, these are the absolute normal, normal, pretty much standard um, NAF rules, isn't it, for these two teams? Yeah. So well, there's the rules there, yeah. Yeah, so some of the others got a little bit extra, like, you know, Goblin's got a bit extra and Nurgle got a bit extra. Yes, I mean, Studdy's had a pretty good deal with three doubles um, and six normals. That's um, a little bit more than they used to get. But, I, I mean, I'm not sure that's necessarily a bad thing. I don't know. But I, I just personally feel that if Utlagar doesn't exist, goblins don't get anywhere. That's that's my personal feeling. Well, I had a look at some builds with them, and I was pretty tempted, Demi. A different build to Yard, but still one I thought I could get some action with. Which is great for the game, and it's healthy for the game, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we did have other goblin entrants, didn't we? We did, and we had a goblin finalist uh, in Ruzi. And ogres. Yeah, yeah we got we got two ogres, ogres. two ogres. Um, but yeah. No, I thought the rule set was really good, very very well balanced. Yep. Just about every race had some, you know, possibilities, something you could do with it. I mean, some always stand out. I thought Kemri built very well under that rule set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Like the Camry, but they're still Camry, aren't they? That's the thing. <laughs> yes, ultimately they are still Camry. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Two dice on a skink. Just kill the skinks. Oh, didn't work. Diced. Absolute mega dicing. <laughs> That's not taken away from Jay Lee, who I thought played great. Um, oh, yeah. Me and, and the other times I've seen him, he's played very solid. Hmm. You don't get to the final not playing pretty no. well. Hmm. Well, might just 3D this uh, bludger here behind for a turn, but then. Because you don't need a lot of penetration with the lizards, do you? Uh, you don't need tons. Sideline cage will suffice. <laughs> yeah. Because they've got cloacas. <laughs> Sorry. Very valid point, Jim. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Penny. You not not nothing stood out. Like nothing stood out as broken, right? When you look at the rules, there was nothing that you thought, "Oh my god!" Where where there has been like the World Cup by cyanide and some blitz pits where that you you thought, "Oh my god, this is uh, this is pretty bloody strong." And there was none that were like that strong. Oh, and there also, I don't think there was any races that were particularly harshly dealt with. Yeah. Some of the ones in Tier 1 could argue they maybe deserved a little bit of a bonus over things like Dark Elves, Woodies and Lizards and Undead. Um, mm -hmm. But, it, you know, I thought it was sort of alright. But yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, maybe Chaos could have had more because nobody, I don't think anyone took Chaos, did they? So I guess maybe Chaos could have had more, but... I think there was one Chaos finalist, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Let me check J Lee's spreadsheet. Uh, I'm in the wrong chair. Big bonehead. Big bonehead. Probably should have pinned this, shouldn't I? <laughs> Would have been a better idea, wouldn't it? In the tradition of the tournament, Muria is of course going to try and involve some sort of cage where that bonehead is a corner of it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that happened in both, both semis. Both semis had had a uh, bonehead from the player and the coach on the same turn. <laughs> there he is, in range of scoring. Mm. Glorious. Oh, here we go. So... Oh no, there were no Chaos qualifiers. Sorry, I lied. Uh, it was a Nurgle though, so that sort of counts, doesn't it? And they got the semis, the Nurgle. Amazing. Yeah, Good. there was one Bretonian, one Necromantic, one Nurgle, one Amazon, one Vampire. The two names that scream out there are Necromantic and Amazons. Like, like I think if more people picked them, they probably could have qualified, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, ne Necro got a double. I mean, I faced two Necro with Mighty Blow Wolves. Which certainly have the ability to high roll any armor based team. And then they do get, you know, enough other toys. And only only three Kemri actually qualified for the, the, the final event. Mm -hmm. And I guess one of them did knock out the other one. Yeah. And there were yeah. still three Chorf qualifiers as well, so. Yeah. It was interesting, yeah. Yeah, super interesting. Chorps aren't bad at Navstar, they're just not one of the hugely dominant races. Because um, you really struggle to get two skills on a bull. So you're either break tank, yeah. or your block, or your guard. And of course in the new rule set, you're not break tank, so you're just either block, or guard, or maybe a short hand. Oh, look at that. Does the chain. Mm. Glorious. What a play, guys. I can see the play, Jim. Mm. I can gonna... shoot a play. The question oh, is, do you, do you cancel the other side and go in with yes. the... Yes, yes, you put the witch in and then you do the 2D. There we are, there's the full cancel. Mm. But I mean, there was the tackler behind, so could have just got the witch yeah. out of the way and gone in with tackle. Gets yeah, I might have been tempted by that, but gets the power on four. And the cars. Oh, he went with the witch. Yeah. Uh, where's the recovery? Well, I mean, the, the problem is, yeah. the, 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 you either had to move the witch or go with the witch. So well, while maybe, the tackle I prefer, it was, you know, you then had to waste the witch moving it before the sack. Yeah. yeah. Leaving, leaving you very few options post-sack. Yeah, Are you so doing that? Now, hang on, now hang on. What's her movement? Right 
Are we doing the three plus dodge pickup on a three plus? Ooh, could three, three. do, yeah. I mean, I yeah, I like that, but it's it's quite. There's Risque. a lot. There's a, yeah, there's a lot in staying right there, right on the skinks and in the middle of the pack. Ooh. Two tackle zones on the ball, but I like it. Yeah, getting okay. the ball on a bludger. Mm. He hasn't used dodge so far, has he? In getting there, no, he didn't it, need there to. Was, there was no dodging. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yep, He's done it. it. Gets it. Yeah, gets it. Three, three. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Leaving him the re-roll for that, so now he can't risk the go for it. But that's all right. He's outside the cage with the ball. Yeah, yeah and you bring the. He's got around. friends to come and stand next to him, hasn't he? Yeah, we one re-roll would have been one. One GFO would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would, but. It's, it's alright, the tackler can stand on the skin can next to the witch, be the witch's friend, and that's a good solid spot square to be in. Yep. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Yeah, that's the square. In Pretty... fact, it might even be better to dodge and, and go... Oh, but he hasn't got dodge. Ugh. No, no, it's the tackle one, so it has to... staying on the skin can be good for Didn't him. like this dodge off, because now... No, it can, can come up, yeah. yeah. It was actually really tricky to deal with if if this guy was just taking him, like you know, occupying yeah. him, taking his thing away. Because you, otherwise, you've got to dodge the two D there. But I guess yeah. dodge the two D is, is probably easier than two GFIs. I guess it's about oh, the same. No, there's a hit here. There's a hit here anyway. Oh, there's a hit here to free up. To free up a, a Saurus, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all it's all fine. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Though so she was always going to get hit, was why you needed the the friend up, and also the tackle on the skinks might be relevant. Yeah, yeah it was easier to this. Or yeah, but it's still a bludger. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No wrestle, no tackle. Yep, correct. Oh, it's still great for Jerry, for sure. What, 45% plus you get the reroll? He's only got two rerolls. Gets the power. Pushing the sideline, I guess. No. No! Well, I think that's a mistake. The jump up. Needs to break armor now. Well, he wants to pick up on the skin. Oh, though. lovely scatter, though. Oh. I just yeah, but if it fails on a one in, if it fails on a one in nine dim, you've also got to plan what might happen in bad things as well as good. Hmm. I remember one of those skinks is on tackle. And the other one, it's a one in nine to get off and a one in nine to pick up. I know to my cost that one in nines can go wrong. As does Jay leave. Saurus. And then I guess. How do you cage? <laughs> you don't. Right there. And then try a 3 plus. Yeah. Just step one back. It seems. Oh, punch the punch him. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that that helps a lot. Si le joueur arrive à conserver son intégrité physique, il pourra rejoindre la zone d'embut en sprintant. But where does the ball go? Yeah, one step back from there is probably about the best I thought, but Get even then, though, there's. There are some ways to surf from there, yeah. yeah that's the pro the problem is the getting surfed. But if you come back in the middle, you're definitely getting sacked. Yeah. I mean, one back is the only place you can go, isn't it? Actually. Yeah, that. I mean, I think that's the best of a bad job. You can be surfed, but it's not easy. No, I mean, I don't know how you do it, but like. It's got to be on, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. With with this with this jump up being possible. Yeah. Is interesting because you could push. It him is back interesting. And then push him in and stuff, and like there's all sorts of things that could happen. All sorts of things. But um. I don't know how realistic they are. So like one into red, isn't it? Yeah, you still might need a five at some point to get 
Oh no, you need to fill that square as well. Mm. So you need to blitz the skink first with the tackle. Oh, oh, it's going red. The uphill. That's not right. I don't know. I think this is wrong. I'd go so far as to say this is wrong. <laughs> a a yeah, 2D I uphill into a 3D uphill, yeah. I'm not sure that's the answer, but it's the one he's gone with. It gives him a 2 plus for a, for a hit on the ball. <laughs> yeah, with tackle. Yes, yeah. Mm. I don't know about the free plus, like the free red dice. It's just crazy. No, that was, it was definitely wrong. That was definitely wrong. <laughs> I think we can all agree. No matter how, no matter how. Well, uh, and he, as you say, it gave him the tackle ball shot, which didn't work, but it gave him it. No matter how so, diplomatic we want to be, there's no way that, that a triple uphill is the right play. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, you know, after you're in a good spot after sacking the ball and stuff, and like, you know, you've got 10 players still. Yeah. Like, this is, there had to be a safer, like, you know, a safer line with, with less payoff had to be better, I think. And bringing more elves in from, although they're all on the crocs, that's the problem, was he did have a big chunk of elves on the crocs. Yeah, up the crocs, yeah. Yeah, there was, there was lots of things possible there. I don't know how long it took, and like, I guess two minutes is a bit shit, isn't it, compared to like CCL, where you'd have three, like... That would be a, that would be a good turn to like, look at for a long time, right, to see what the... Yeah, it really would. Yeah, like, he can surf everything here. Can't Takes sort of the, re the rebel, <laughs> rebel hours of time to really... Mm, yes, there's a lot of surfing possibilities here. But again, it depends just how feisty he wants to be. I mean, he's only just got his ball back and got his drive back under his control. So I it's think be a level of a... just want to, wanting to stabilise, surely. Yes, I think versus a team with two witch elves and a team with strength two players, I think you you get back to the middle here, like and just stabilise. Yeah, which is very easy to do. So and and gain some space at the same time. So that's what would be my my Especially intention. You just oh, you just but if you just well. kill a witch. Like I said, I got one KO in two entire halves of Blood Bowl against these Dark Elves. <laughs> not that, that I'm works. bitter that about works. that at all. No, of course not. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I wouldn't even necessarily move the Crocs. You can just leave him there and build a lovely cage around him. Yeah, exactly. This stun. This stun the stun the means that if you get a nice pal there, oh, you wanted to really move it off that square, but... There are still some nice ways to use the Crocs and gain all that space. He's just going for all of it anyway. Leave the Crocs behind. If it stupids. Yeah. I mean, it's only a 1 in 6, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the thing with Lizards, is you've got all the bloody Sauruses, which are more or less big guys as well. Mm. I had a go at coaching Lizards, because they're so successful, I thought I'd give it a try. And I know people find this ironic from a largely dwarf and coach. Um, I just found them incredibly boring. <laughs> Hello. Block, <laughs> block on all the sauruses, and you just, you know, you just, oh, so boring. Mm. They at least have like the the funky switches, don't they? With having been so fast and strong and fast and well armored and fast and strong. Yeah. And reasonably agile. Yeah. <laughs> but the speed is to, the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, the to make dwarves. up for their weaknesses, which are. Um, uh, no um, block. That's right. Except when you can put six block on all your, one on all of your sauruses. Yeah. But it's 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 the weak ball carriers, obviously. Yeah. Which is why Reddit will implore you to hit the skinks. Yes. And one who's been hit and cast. So. Well, what else could you expect? Yeah. So it looks like Jay Leavers now here. has to re-sack all over again, doesn't he? But yeah, he can either, I mean, surfing a Saurus might put you a Saurus up. Yeah, I think, I think it's probably worth surfing a Saurus. No, he has gone with the Apo build, hasn't he? So reasonably low re-rolls, but has the Apo. Uh, yep, so yeah. we're surfing a Saurus. Eh? How dare you, PC. Oh, no, we're not. Reroll, reroll in oh. for the serve. Wow. Not letting the Sauruses get away with that. Wow. Wow, that was that was something. Well, it's a first half reroll, isn't it? So they are disposable. Yeah, but. And I think that means he's given up on stopping the drive. 
yeah, it's, it means you're giving up on stopping this guy drive. It means you're giving up on scoring a one turn, and it's just pretty rubbish, isn't it? It was a decision, yeah. Yeah, frustration. I mean, there was oh, yeah. there was actually that dodge off the crocs. There was actually you could have stopped and still done the surf with a blitzer that was up the other side of it with that guy dodging off and doing do do, do two GFIs. So yeah. there were ways to still get that surf, but it yeah, I mean, it was. It also put a lot of L's at risk to, to leave that many on the sideline. Yes, I think, I think, yeah, that would have been great. So, there were reasons. And Not yes, that I think the Lizards would have done much about it, but they might have served something. They might have done. So, I mean, the, you uh, just, do, you just, do you just click end turn? You know, to <laughs> take a quick hit and a quick blitz and then end well, turn? The line out, like, yeah, I mean, I might be tempted to do that. More. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Bring the one in the backfield up towards the cage, hit the blodge piece, surf the lino, stay where you are. You can take one step forward if you want, but I mean, I quite like the fact that the Crocs is on that down delf, and not having to test his stupid is is good. You don't really want two skinks on your corner, but you've got other sauruses that will be arriving, just like that one. Yeah, but blitzing the tackle would be good. But yeah, you've got you've got to surf the lino, haven't you? You like you actually just have to. You could swap the skink onto that back corner by the saurus that's just arrived and put that saurus up on the top corner yeah which i think is what he's doing yeah exactly that yeah that's tighter you don't even need to bring the other skink down can you you can leave it in there mm -hmm. i think we're seeing exactly what we laid out yep We can even kind of semi-trap the witch in, couldn't we? Oh, has he still got two witches? Yeah, no, he hasn't, has he? he one's been no, napped. one's been so napped. Even... Ah, but one's she's back to life. <laughs> back for the second half. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop. It's funny with it, yeah, we, we already did that. We already did the chunter voice, me and my friends, with the stop, stop. <laughs> what was what was that? Uh, I think it was an advert on, like, for fucking orange or something. It was like, it was like you know, somebody, like, you know, meant to be Dutch going, stop, stop, it isn't ready. Do you remember that? An advert? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Was it still a Artois or something like that? One of those? Something, it was something, yeah. It was, it was gross. Was it? Oh, Grolsch, yeah. that makes sense. Oh, that is Dutch, Bride but... is not ready yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, we went, stop, stop, shoft cock. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's not Orange, Jim, it's EE -E now. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. But, I mean, the advert was for Orange, exactly. as it would have been, right? That was what I was thinking. No, it was for Grosch, mate. Yeah, no, but it would have been It would have been for Orange then. That was the point, okay? I don't know what you mean. Because it was an old advert. For Grosch? Yes, when Orange was not a year yet. <laughs> Nonsense. So you saw it on Orange? <laughs> Fuck off. Well, I don't see why orange is relevant, Jim. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Just back then, that's one of the things that was true. That, that yes. orange was... Okay. Yes, orange was... And, and I just thought it might have been for orange. I mean, back then we had a Fuck Queen said, Elizabeth. Yeah, exactly. Stop being shit. Liz Truss wasn't Prime Minister. Mm. You could have a hot shower and not worry about it. Because <laughs> of the accent, right? The orange could have had an advert. Because that was it. I see. I knew, it was a, I knew it was like a foreigner. Where, where is Grolsch? Where is Grolsch from? Is that? Isn't it? Is it one of the Scandinavians, or is it a, a Dutch thing? Could be Dutch, couldn't it? Could Grolsch. be Dutch. Yeah. Not telling you. It's Dutch, apparently. There you are. So that's where your Dutch, brain has yeah. gone to orange. I see. It is Dutch. See, it was Dutch. Stop! Stop! It isn't ready yet. Stop. <laughs> so it was. It was Dutch. So we saw a nice little attack on the corner of the cage there. 
uh, produced absolutely nothing, and you can just blitz one off and then block the other one off and stay exactly where you are. Yep. You might want to get think... closer, though, because... My... Oh, yeah, no, bringing another Saurus in to do the blitz job is even better. The power here, is there any I point, might... Jim? I mean, you can get closer, but it's... Yeah, if you power if them power... both, but it's... Yeah. It's a bit of an R say when you don't really need to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, if you power them both, you do because you've still got like two lateral, I think, haven't you? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, yeah, two lateral squares. So it's it's really hard for them to like get in the Incredibly way. Incredibly hard. In any meaningful way. Good middle line. Oh, yes. oh! Whoa! Why uh, did he activate him? Ah! Ah! He wanted to put it between the witch that, and the bludger, that, I guess. Yeah, that was not a sensible thing. Well, now he's left the... Uh, now his uh, entire cage is in ruins, and he has to replan. I, mean, I think if you're right, going to do that, you, you do that as your first action. Yes, but yes, it's still all right. But if, you, yeah, if you're planning your turn around moving a big guy, then I, if, if it's safe to do it, do it as early as you possibly can. Because it might change where you blitz, it might change all sorts of things. It's moved him out. Oh. So now it's a 5 plus in to hit the ball. That's interesting, isn't it? I yeah. Don't like that. No, that didn't seem necessary. And if you're going to do it, I'd put it the other side of the Dark Elves. Through the screen. I was looking at chains, but... I mean, there was a chain, but... Oh, there is a chain know. now, isn't there? Well, there definitely is a chain now. Yeah, he's yes. just done that. He's just given them a chain. So, yeah, I think I would do that. I would chain the big Saurus. Although the problem is that if you don't power it on the second one, or the, if you're on the first one, that you then block off the way you're creating, don't you? You kind of ah, need yeah. the power and remove, I think, is the yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, still... Actually, no, no, you need to push and then power. No, you'd need to power on the first one because it would take a while. Well, get the 5 plus in anyway. I mean, that was my initial reaction, is just do the 5 plus in. Yeah, do the 5 plus in, it's 55%. Yeah, yeah it's the full power. It's the full power, yeah. Moving that mm. skink was. He had such a lovely tight cage and he, he decided to untighten it. Yeah, I did not like that at all. I would not have acted. I would have not have activated the Crocs because I would have wanted more stuff, you know, just make yeah, the cage totally. stronger. You were close enough, yeah, as you, as you said. Like, well, you know, yeah, there were so many routes through, and even if it comes down to a couple of one in nines on a skink, that that's not frightening. No, he certainly, just... if he built a two-layer wall, you had the sauruses to punch through the first half of it, and then just go, you know, three, you've, three, you've, three. You've got two lateral. You had two lateral squares. One, I know, two, so it's a huge oh, amount of the field. Yeah, you got it. Add a couple gone. of GFIs to that. There's all sorts of ways that it would have been maybe one dodge or no dodges. It's just mm -hmm. so hard to stop him. Well, I called stay in place, and I bet he wishes he had. And there goes the ball, Jim. That's going to be... Um, there's no scoring op option, no, is there? Yeah, one, yeah. Shot. one shot, isn't he? Diced. Absolute comedy mega. He's got no re-roll anyway, so I don't know even if you even go for it. Well, I think that's good, because otherwise we wouldn't face much of a second half, would we? True. Uh, true. You reckon? Well, what, the Dark Elves 1-0 up with the ball in hand? Yeah, oh, I right. Think, oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought you meant... I think that would make it quite dull. I, I, hate, I, hate, I hate the punt because, like, if he rolls a one, you can block with a Saurus and then get the ball, right? Like, it's super yeah, easy. I, I but if you keep it, it no. you've got to power him. You've, you, like, it's it's way better having to power him. I wouldn't have punted. He can chain, he can chain that Saurus out, can't he? However, uh, the punt does make it completely impossible. Yeah, but true. it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy before. True. Because you've got Dark Elves on the back of the cage. Yeah. So you've got to take those two hits first. There's a Kaz. However, he is taking those hits and they're going very well. Yep. Kazzing Dark Elves, imagine that. <laughs> I can't imagine I'm breaking armour, honestly. Well. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> He's got three dice with the Crocs on the, uh, the Witch as well. Which is pretty terrifying. Mm. I wonder if there's like... Could double chain this Saurus... It, this guy could hit hit the witch and push to there, and then this guy could hit the witch and push to there. So that's how he could hit the ball. Like if he hadn't if he hadn't uh, punted. <laughs> so yeah, had he not punted, he could have he could have freed this saurus to blitz. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, it needed all the right things to happen, but it could have happened. 
So I, I, I mean, it I was like only a fumble on a one, wasn't it? So. I, I do tend to punt. But you're right, if the one comes up, you feel blimmin' stupid, because there you are, you got away with the ball, you just popped it on the ground. Yeah, yeah I generally but even, don't like Even an inaccurate is usually giving you what you want. I can so even believe sure not a he activated the crocs and moved the skink. Yeah. That, I mean, both of those were just suicidally bad decisions, weren't they? I mean, pretty much, yeah. Like, all you need to do is meet cube there, isn't it? Like, you know, like, if anything, you want more stuff in, not not activating yeah. the crocs to move him away and then moving the skink yeah. away. Just put more stuff in and pack it even more. Well, as I say, if you're going to do it, activate him first. And then if it fails, you can replan your turn and find a nice safe cage and, you know, make him less relevant. But, yeah, and then the move of the skink at the end, I just don't understand at all. Oh well, now it's just giving him a skink to hit for free as well, I don't know why he's done that. Mm. Maybe this is a bit of pressure. Maybe it's been too long days. It, well like it's it's gotta be nerve wracking, right? Like it's gotta be mega nerve wracking, like, because the money and stuff. Mm. And it, like, I feel like I feel like the last few turns have been a bit out of character for uh, Maria. <laughs> ah, good old Elt meme. Band Elt meme told me why Shoftcock because of the brass eye sketch where they couldn't do full erection porn because they'd never stopped jizzing so Softcock only. <laughs> and Morris did a nice Dutch accent. <laughs> so there you go, that's why. That's why we combined the Grolsch advert with brass eye and went stop, stop, Shoftcock. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I remember that, bro. So. <laughs> Thanks, help me. Thanks, band help me. <laughs> it's a 3D. And what's he got? He's got nine cap, eight maybe. Yeah, mm. nine cap, yeah. <laughs> Still some work to do for JD, but yeah, definitely he'd be delighted. He's in a good place. Oh, doesn't look like he got many KOs. Yeah, 8 versus 11, I don't know that he'd be delighted. Oh, um, yeah, okay. I mean, particularly the heart-wrenching is that the little skink came back, isn't it? So you just yeah. feel that yeah. everything teetered against you in one set of nasty dice. But that still, as a... Though. As an elf coach myself, you know, you've got to think that even fairly short of elves. As, as long elf as you've got coach. As long as you've got <laughs> it. <laughs> my favourite elf, Gimli. <laughs> Known for my elfing, Dimmy. So as an elf coach at heart, uh, I'll tell you that whilst you've got, you know, three blodge pieces on the field, you've got to feel you've always got a good chance against something that doesn't have tackle. If it's your ball. You know, we elves, we uh, <laughs> you know, we like to think we've got the moves and the agility to just, you know, outfox people. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> well, this is, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough, isn't it, with only you? Yeah, it is tough. Like this is a monster, monster team. But it's good. It's like it's on a knife edge, isn't it? This is pretty good. It's it's great as a team. final. I mean, yeah. it's it's poised, isn't it? Poised. Yeah, I think it's good for the game. All the lizards uh, coming for so few brave little elves. God bless them with their dodge everywhere, do everything ways. Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to put on my feedback form to allow you to use a different team in the tournament than the qualifier. Never mind. It's uh, Yeah, it's not a bad shout going for the quick score here. He does have KOs and some expectation of getting those KOs back, so. Only one, though. Yeah. Yeah, Daka. Yeah, if it, was, if it was two KOs, or like all three were KOs, then obviously. The yeah, he's got to do the long drive yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he wants to leave it. And you can't even give him a two-turn, almost, skinks, can you? 
So it's, you've got to go for the full eight. He probably should have done the Daka. Not unless he kills them all. He probably should have gone for the Daka. I think he wants to try and chip something, Jim. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried that against AV8, didn't work very well. But if you can get into the skinks, I hear there's bounty to be made there. But of course, you know, it might just be a finger of fudge. I know. see what I did there? Finger yep. of fudge. It's just enough. To give the kids yeah, I mean, a treat. Like, finger of fudge is just enough until it's time to eat. It's full of Cadbury goodness. Say, <laughs> I'm still going to say that j Leave is the favourite at this point. Very small and neat. I'm not sure, sweet. I'm not sure he is. It's, it's close. It is close, just because the lizards do outnumber him so. But the elves have the ball. Yeah, but they've yeah, got to stall it he, turn eight. That's the thing, He's it? also put it on his runner, hasn't he? Mm. And I know the runner's got dump off, but it's also got AV7, no dodge, no block. It's the sort of thing a skinks can, skinks can bully. I did enjoy that full of Cadbury's goodness. There is literally no goodness in, it, in no. Cadbury's anywhere. No. No. <laughs> it's well, the to make your children in, fat. It's in their bank account, Jim. Oh, yeah, fair enough, yeah. And they made the best chocolate bar the world has ever known and discontinued it, making me sad. Ooh, what's that? The ripple. The fuse. The joyful sort of cross between a picnic and a... I oh, know, that's a galaxy, isn't it, anyway? Star bar. Cadbury's yeah, fuse. fuse. Mm. I liked them. I liked them, Jim. They've still got them here. You can, you can you? climb off eBay. 25 grams times 10 Cadbury fuse chocolate. Oh, I might have to. I might have to eBay myself some fuses. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll post the link for you. I mean, they're expensive as fuck, but, you know. I bet. I know with you and your, your white chocolate Twixes. Yeah. Oh. See, my mum can't do caffeine, so we've often bought her white chocolate stuff, so I've tried lots of white chocolate things. Your white chocolate Twix is good, I'll give you that, but... Uh... Oh, this is... Rowdy. They did a salted caramel Twix. I'd rather have that. Mm. Very rowdy. Are they 20 years old? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think they've made fuses for a while. Mm. 30 quid. Oh, he did the tail dodge before yeah. the, uh, the, the 2 plus dodge. <laughs> Still, what are the 30 each? I mean, just to oh, say, I, I'm also a big fan of the Butterfinger from America. Ooh. 2 into 1. Got to take the score, yeah. And you pay £1.50 for one of them in this country. Yeah, just get it done, whack it in. Oh, I hated the Mars Black and White. I actually hated that, frankly. I, I just don't like Mars in general. Mm. More of a Uranus guy. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> Do me the champ. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, if I think of you and planets, Pluto is the one that leaps to mind. But it's not a planet, PC. Yeah, it isn't planet, anymore, no. no. No, it's a planetary object, isn't it? It's tiny as well, isn't it? It's actually really tiny. I didn't realise how small it was. But it's, it's really fucking small. It's like smaller than Brazil or something. <laughs> like, genuinely. It's like really small. Oh, full pal. That's on the tackle. Said. Okay, okay, calm down, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, there's a Blood Bowl game here. This is the final. You've got to focus. Come on, guys. Yeah, someone's going to nudge, nudge, wink, wink any minute. This is. Um... Stop talking about chocolate. Oh, after the New Horizons mission, it was actually found that Pluto was bigger than it originally estimated. So it is actually bigger than Brazil. <laughs> oh, he moved that guy. I thought he was going to blitz and then have a couple of follow-up hits there, but he's going for the witch. I like this. If you get a Saurus up the field as well as a Skink, I'd probably have two Skinks, but you've got to get some pressure on that lonely-looking runner. Without dodge. Or block. Mm. And it's AV7 ass. And I heard his education was very poor as well. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the dark health schooling system is not what it was, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On someone said to put its total surface area into perspective, it would be about the same surface area as Russia. So there you go. Well, I think that's bigger than Brazil. I think you've lied to us. Well, no, but yeah. like, if you put it on top of Brazil, right? It's significantly bigger than Brazil. I yeah. think it's going to turn out that beavers have pregnancies about five to six months long. I think the whole <laughs> thing is an issue of lies. They do, they do mate for life or until one of them dies. <laughs> uh, oh, this is easy, isn't it? You just, you just blitz with the blodger and then run left. Yep. So do wood pigeons. He needs to base... No, you're going the wrong way, Maria. You need to go left. He's going left. Yeah. Top tip. Th thank you. There you go. Look, Enzo knows. Brazil from north to south is bigger than Pluto's diameter. There you go. That was the point. Is that the planetary object, Pluto, or the cartoon dog? Well, it's obviously bigger than the dog, isn't it? <laughs> I was confused as a child. How Does Mickey has a dog that is a dog, but also has a friend that is a dog? Do you think his dog looks at Goofy and thinks... Why the fuck do I not get to walk around and have a car? <laughs> Girlfriend, why am I why am I in a doghouse? And here comes the blitz. Gets the power. Not so easy ouch. after this though, is it? Like this is easy, but now what? Yeah. Um, we shuffle left, we just go left. Yeah, just kill some more time by moving to the left side like, of the field. How? If you're prepared to stand up on that Saurus. What do you mean you how? You you move left, you Jim. Like quick move and you move into the left. And then you scream with the How did you protect? Water. How would you protect your neck? You, you, you go backwards, didn't you? 3 2, maybe? What are you on about? You've got, you've got a lovely rookie oh, so up there on the back. Saurus. You're going you dodge back. up. Yeah. yeah, back and left. Yeah. Bottom left corner. Ooh, yeah. I don't like that. Why? Because what, what are you going to do after that? Well, we're going to dodge out the tackler. Then we're going to dodge out the witch. And then we're going to dodge out the dodger. Well, the, ro the rookie up left looks nice to dodge out and then get up left at the halfway line point. Oh, he's gone up. He's gone up. Oh, I wouldn't have gone up. I thought up was possibly oh, safe. He's, I he's think he's throw, handing he's off. Gonna, yeah, he's going to throw a pass. I think he is. Throwing it to the witch and stalling yeah, on there. he's throwing it to the bludger. He's throwing it to the bludger. Which is probably the better idea anyway. But it's if he rolls a one, it's... Interesting. Oh, no, he's not. He's right. not. He's just standing there. He's got a GFI, okay. hasn't he? He's got a GFI, otherwise he just gets hit by the... No, nah, he's got... He's got... Dump off, mate. Oh, yeah. You even you even look at him... But you can tag... You can, but you can tag the blitz. Yes, he can. Yeah, I... Yeah, I... Four, yeah, I, four, I, five, six, seven, eight. You can tag both of them with a single skin. And then you can blitz on two crocs. go for it with the... Uh, with the crocs, yeah, why not? Tag goes if you activate. Cool. And do it first, obviously. Yeah. Why didn't he oh, just? Well, there you go. That's ah, brilliant. there's the plan. It was a three-two, three-two all along. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Three-two is when we can go left, but I guess you could have gone really far back. I just didn't. Re I really didn't like going really far back. So he had a good long think about it, and the answer he came up with was um, the gloriousness of elves. Mm, well, all the dice. Which is you know, that's why I'm two pluses. Uh... That's why I'm an elf coach. Is you know you can do things like that. Mm. Can't do that with a white, can you, Jim? You can't. When's he going to make a blockless dodge? Good question. <laughs> of course, now it'd be a, a blickless didge. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. Wow. <laughs> He's got a couple of blitches. Yeah, but that Crocs has got to go in between the witch and the bludger, surely. I don't know, I'd rather put it on like something without dodge so that it's got more chance of... It's like a wet something. koala hold the keep. If Donald Duck's wet, his, his feathers sort of mat together and you can see his cock. Um, whereas if they're dry, they fluff out and cover his genitals. So that's why he uses a towel when he leaves the shirt. Is that you don't see his cock. I'm glad that's, that's cleared up. And yes, Jim Greedy Banger has a good point. I should apologise to you. Um, other people can do that with elves. Yeah. yeah uh, a blockless cock. Can he? Can he? No. He can't. <laughs> can he? No. I told my kids a joke today that appalled one of them and delighted the other. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it appalled your daughter and delighted your son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there we go. How did you? How did you get that so obviously right? <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a human being. I understand humour. <laughs> go on, then you've got to tell us, PC. Oh, I mean, it's a very old joke, and I'm sure you've heard it on the stream before, but it's, um, why did Sally fall off the swing? It's that oh, one. man, no, not again. I've, it was yeah. Helen last time. <laughs> I decided my my kids were old enough. Uh, I haven't heard it. Oh, well, why did Sally fall off the swing? I don't know. Because she's got no arms. <laughs> oh, God. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Not Sally. Not Sally. Oh, God. It was that bit that horrified my daughter. God, that's terrible. I mean, she could have headbutted the door, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, Mickey Mouse was in court and trying to get a divorce from Minnie. And oh, the judge man. And said, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't give you a divorce because she's got buck teeth. And he said, I didn't say she had buck teeth. I said she was fucking goofy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All he needs is like four million dodges and he can get cage here. Yeah. And this, if you ask Trifific, I'm sure there's a website where you can see some evidence from that case. <laughs> Definitely. Now yeah, that witch has got them all the way around as well. Maybe you just lob it the witch and skull. Uh, I, I would have done this differently. Well, you'd have been inside your end zone for a start. He'd have been inside Enzo. Oh, inside and he's snakes Enzo, too. Yeah. No, no, the, the snake was the intercept. He's rolled a three. Ooh. He's rolled another three. Should have known better than doing that. Oh, man. He's rolled a three and a two. Do you do the GFIs? You probably should because he's 30% to nail you here, isn't he? Nail, yeah. Mm. Yes, and I mean, with the AV7, it's not great, is it? I think you certainly do one, don't you? And then once you've done one, you may as well do the second. Yeah. Dibby, of course, would stay put. Jimmy would do one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Jimmy I would do, do one. Like, if yeah. you do one, then he's got the... Uh, I don't know, you probably should just do them both. Though I guess that's pretty good, getting the tackle on the skink, so even if you get... Ah, uh, he's got under the skink. It's tricky. I don't know, Eddie Telly, what did the blinded deaf orphan get for Christmas? No. Oh, don't say that. I know the I'm, answer. I'm horrified. Oh, yeah, it's like it's something like. It begins with C. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, mm. Could have thought of a better punchline. Yeah. Do you have to break armor? Yeah, probably Kill Bill. Yeah. Because otherwise it's a 2 plus, 2 plus. And I guess you get another stall out of it, another turn of stall out of it, don't you, by not GFI? <laughs> Oh, thank you, pardon. Are you alright? No. He's oh, burns pushes. the pushes. Burns the pushes. Yeah, classic, classic play. Pro play here. We're going to get instant double powers into armor break. <laughs> Can he power the bleacher? Is a GFI as well, well. It is only 30%. It is a GFI. Yep. Uh, it's got to think if the armor doesn't break, it's only a 3 plus to pick it up, and elves do that sort of stuff all day. I mean, we love that. We don't mind a 3 plus to win the game. But he will have a skink to have an attempt at picking it up. Will he? Yep. Yeah. There's a skink here you can reach. They're, they're blooming fast. And you can punch him back. He do, he and you can punch him back around the corner. Get yeah. A little bit. Oh man! Wow! Yeah, no, yes, Should, I mean that's why I would always do the GFIs. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's right. See, it's a one in six to fail a GFI. It's thirty percent to get that pound. Well, Ooh. I know which of those oh, is more like. Oh, that's a good scale for J Leaf though, and it's going to so be one into two. If you didn't want to score, you needed the GFI out of range. Why did you do that? Why didn't he do to, the double to, GFI? To mark the ball because it's a double GFI mm -hmm. to pick it up, and that's two, two, three. Yeah. Whereas on a two plus, he at least had a tackle zone on it. Yeah. So it's three, three, two for J Leave at the moment. Maybe three, he fouls. Two, two, three. Maybe he fouls the witch. Maybe he doesn't do the GFI and fouls the witch. 
maybe you uh, do the pickup first and then come around and try and foul the witch afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Jim. Uh, maybe I foul. See, here. the problem is if you if you foul oh, and get so even if you break armor, if you get sent off, you're still not getting a skink back very quickly, and elves will get there quickly. Well, we failed a geofire, so we should have failed. He did. Yeah. So I might have moved one up there and then moved the other and picked the ball up and not fouled, but yeah. that, that's still very uh, it's, bad. It's, it's, oh yeah, because you can two out. I yeah, think, of course. Yeah, I think I think you try and do this one first, right? Do the one in nine there and like make a screen between there, kind of right, a little bit. So you like dodge this one up there, or maybe it's here oh. or something. But dodge this one out first on a one in nine. And then dodge this guy on the one in nine and try and pick it up. And then, if all that works, try and get the foul in with this guy. One, we two, now get it. So three, 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 two. If he fancies <laughs> it. No, it's two, two, three, two. Because you just dodge out. One, two, oh yeah, yeah. And he's got this for pace, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Two, three, two. To score on thirteen, leave them four turns. That's fine, isn't it? He's done it. Flip me. But is it enough? Well, it's certainly not not enough, Dimmy. It, in the worst case you're looking at is now overtime. Yep. You know, you're one nil up with four turns to go in the final. That's I think anyone would take that. Mm. Get the KO back. You've got some chance to defend always because of kickoff events, because of dice, because of blood bowl. They've got to get forwards quickly. They've only got one reroll. Three to four turns to do it, but only one reroll. Yeah. I think uh, that's advantage J leave by a distance. Bleach we trust. Bleach we trust. Yeah, that would be a cabin. I, I have bleaches, it will be fine. <laughs> I do love the bleaches. <laughs> oh man, we need we need we need Machina to do a fucking sound effect for Pal me Bleacher. It's incredible. He's proud me Bleacher. <laughs> Hello store. Oh there's a Nick con, is there? Glorious. That'll be in Australia though. And he's coming to England, isn't he? I think. Yeah, he's coming over. Oh yeah, I'm going to meet him. Yeah. He's going to do a couple of years working a bar, I presume, and then um, buy a VW Combi and head to some festivals before. Oh no, I thought he was just coming over for thingy. <laughs> Live you lots. <laughs> Cheers, Cabby. Yes, I was entirely serious, Timmy. <laughs> About Gdanik doing the stereotypical. Uh, Antipodean overseas experience trip here. I mean, we're worse than they are. We go over there and pick berries for him, don't we? <laughs> it's gonna be a home for me in Yorkshire. <laughs> I don't, do we? Well, that's what they all do, isn't it? They get a visa, but they have to farm for like three months of the year or something, don't they? And they all go to vineyards and... I that's wasn't the... aware that was a thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the British do it all the time. When my sister was backpacking, admittedly a long time ago. Um, yeah, but you're an affluent guy, aren't you? So you all have money. To do that. Yeah, I'm talking oh. about common folk like me, PC. I'm. <laughs> what makes you think I'm an affluent guy, Dimmy? I've been round your house. <laughs> 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 doesn't, doesn't doesn't mean I was raised that way, son. I paid for this. Don't ever mistake uh, an expensive accent for expensive background. They're not entirely interchangeable. Well, if you don't know about berry picking in Australia, then well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, because I couldn't afford to go on, you know, all those sorts of overseas blitz. trips, mate. A blitz, and he put his blood, he put his blitzes on the wow. other and then he got a blitz. Oh, where's the ball? Oh, it's on the, yeah. It's on the Saurus in the middle. Yes, so. okay, so that's not... What he yeah, can do is maybe is, get around and hit a skink, or... It's like the worst blitz ever. This is like if Spurs You can rearrange in front of the Sauruses <laughs> around the edge to make them slower in getting forwards. <laughs> Spurs don't do blitzes, but if they did, it'd probably be the worst <laughs> blitzes in the world. <laughs> 
they would be really shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I mean, there is just no chance of anything good coming out of this. No, no. Touch you can, yeah, you can knock Asaurus over, which might slow them down a little bit. <laughs> off the saurus behind him, and then a failed pickup could bounce through. But... Oh, wow. Or he could dub skull. Yeah, I had to take it. And the he saurus couldn't. can catch it. Oh, the saurus caught it! Oh my god. <laughs> well, now you've got a block strength four move six ball carrier. Brilliant. I'd take that over a skink any day of the week. Yep. It's still a bit iffy, though, because who's going to come with him? Well, All the turns. other strength six, strength four, move six pieces. Yeah, he's got four turns, and you have a, yeah, but... a skink next to him to hand off if you if you like. You know, if you fought yeah. to dodge with him, you can just hand. Yeah, off. And if you need to if you need to break through a line, you hand off to the skink. But you you go with the strength four, move six because that five plus dodging is suddenly not oh, so scary. Oh, he's relying on the crocs to clear as well. I think that might be a mistake. I think that might have been a mistake as well. Yeah. Yeah. I he can blitz, but it's only one in twenty-seven. But yeah. It won't be his first Crocs mistake, but it, it's yeah. I mean, it's problem. At this point, when you've only got one re-roll, it's kind of all right to start oh, yeah. relying on your big guy a little more. Oh, if he boneheads, then he is deserved. <laughs> well, if he boneheads, he's got other options. He is at least doing it whilst he still has his blitz available. Yeah, I guess he can blitz that line. Out. I like. Yeah. I, is he being a bit greedy? Like, I, In fact, well, I might blitz it anyway and then move the Crocs up the field if it moves. Well, no, I like blitzing that line out as well and then getting down the field. But... Get down the field. The other problem with this is the Crocs is only based in one person. Where yes, but it is, it's a blitzer. <laughs> So it does go for that, yeah. That's not a massive amount of forward momentum. Mm. Uphill wrestle, dodging on a 5 plus, GG. Oh, he has gone forward. I know it's not bad, but like it's not ideal, I think. Why has he gone there? Yeah, that's an odd space for the skink. He doesn't um, want to get surfed, that's why, but I still think it's a bit odd, yeah. I think he shouldn't give a shit if he surfs him. Yeah, me too. Also because he's the exact distance away that if it did, it would leave the witch unable to move any further on the sideline. Mm. At which point, the counter surf is incredibly easy. So I would almost have left the surf deliberately. The old trap surf. I mean, he could just four plus in. Ah, uh, is it five? No, it's four plus in. Oh, but I guess he's got blocked though, hasn't he? Red dice. Yeah, this is the job for a wrestle witch. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. four plus in. That's why. That's go. why you got one. Is the red dying up hills. You just go With YOLO. I mean, you could try well, and screen, couldn't you? you? Depends on if you think you can screen this many players. Well, you can get, you can get the other. The problem back. is, is that you're not going to want to throw your reroll at it because your worst case is it goes to overtime, and you want your reroll for that. Yeah, he's not going for it. Yeah. At which point, going in becomes uh, it's kind of not really worth it if you're not willing to throw a reroll at it. Because even the AV7 definitely, you know, failing the dodge is likely to maybe cost you the witch. Oh, any snakes? So I guess he was looking to just tie everything up instead, but yeah, a snake. He's surfed the witch. <laughs> I mean, he can, <laughs> legally. <laughs> it might not even be the wrong play. It's the wrong play, Demi. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's too many resources committed to it when you need to be just using the advantage you've been given to move forward in numbers so that you guarantee getting the score done. What would Andy say? And he would do the surf. And he'd be <laughs> would he re-roll the powers as well? See, that, that, <laughs> that, skinks, that skinks in the wrong place. Unless you're blitzing with... It's okay. not in the wrong place. It's it fine. kind of is. It kind of is. Oh, I don't even know anything. why we're trying to knock that witch over. 
Uh, I guess you take the rest of them. No? So now, instead of tying up one Saurus, who could have just moved her anyway, we've tied up two. Yeah. And a skink. I, I would have said the rest Just to move the witch a little bit, when we could get around it anyway. So I, mean, I think that was a bit confusing and not necessarily a target that I would have put as much, certainly not as many no, just it's, resources it's, into. The thing is, it's the only thing that can get you right. Like it can dodge in and uphill you with wrestle, and you've got a strength four block. Yeah, like, if you, you if Jimmy, block, it's the even if you side. power it, and it's it's thirty percent to power it on two die, and only about fifty percent on three die. Even if you power it, it's jump up. Well, you can foul it, couldn't you? Yeah, but and if you are, it's only seven. It. Yeah, I, 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 I think this is a bit. I think it's a bit. Yeah, I don't mind it. I didn't I mind hitting it. it. I thought putting three resources now four with the Croxigore into it, dealing with it was a bit too much. But it's left you with stuff around the ball, so it's not like it's cost you, has it? Well, I mean, my ball would have been four squares further on with as many resources around it. But mm -hmm. I, I mean, I take your point. It's probably all still safe. And actually, he doesn't want to score next turn. Which yeah, exactly. Now I would then have to, to stall up. There. Yeah, exactly. Now Ooh. he's got space to move into, hasn't he? So he is on a good pace for it, but he, he has to keep the back door tight still, so it's not super tight around the front. It's not super tight around the back. Oh. Okay. Okay. I just still feel it was a bit too many resources into the witch, and more should have been put into building a tighter cage. Why wouldn't he follow that? Because if he follows that, that's really awkward for JD. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Rather than a, another Dark Elf just straight back into a yeah. fairly relevant position. Yeah, fish. like that was... Misclick, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That was very weird, yeah. Strange blitz, but I suppose he's, he wants to use his tackle on the skinks. Yeah, he's not stopping the score, is he? Like, no, he's not stopping the score. So he might as well just bang in. And... Hope for the best. Yeah, hope for the best. No, that fail. I mean, he's taken enough of the space with the Sauruses that he should be able to get into a good stall position next turn. The Dark Elves are going to really struggle to get back that far that fast. Yeah, the, the snake last turn really, really screwed. Yeah, it really did. attempts to get in the way. Yep, on such margins things turn. Now he is making this, you see, that's the space I wanted to be mine already. Yeah. So it does yeah. mean that the lizards are either going to have to punch her and score early, which they definitely don't want to do, or find a way of stalling up, which then means there's probably still time to get the Dark Elves back and put a reasonable wall in front of Asaurus, and he'll need to hand off to the Skink for the extra pace or line breaking. So I do think going further forwards in numbers and mass, particularly with at least one Saurus up where just that lonely Skink is, could have been a lot stronger. Yeah, but of course he could have at least stunned the witch, in which case she's not there and this yeah. is just too yeah. easy. So. Yeah, you're not wrong. If it had powered and killed her, you know, it would have looked like a beautiful move, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's funny. And it was it? about 50% on that three die to get that power, and she is AV7. Yeah. I just... yeah, now he's got no choice but to blitz the witch and then cram into that corner. He can build... Mm, I don't know, it's, it's even iffy. Or... It is iffy, it is iffy, yeah. So it's... Like, you know, it's a good point, it's a good point, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not arguing with PC, it's just that I think, you know, I'm just saying why I think he did it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying what he did was terrible, it wasn't, like I said, if he got the power particularly, it was beautiful, but... I... I just think my priority was scoring, and hence he's felt he's had to go in one early. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, that played out not entirely unexpectedly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, to be fair... Oh, yeah, then, it's I mean, only one turn, so yeah, scoring early was fine, yeah. Oh, yeah. fine, because it was a, yes, it was a, a short drive, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's one, not two. Oh, I'm getting my maths all mad. Yeah, so that was fine, then. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy, yeah, easy. Easy. Here comes the riot, here comes the riot, lads. Yeah, there could be a riot. If a riot, you bet on the L's, for sure. And in overtime, you just bet on whoever receives, don't you? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, at this point you do. Pretty like I said, well. he, I mean, as long as you know, that. well, it, as an elf coach, if you lose <laughs> you know, like seven, I think seven's fine as long as I've still got three, four blodger pieces there. Well, three well, blodge, one rodge piece. PC, as an elf coach, you would trust in yeah. your movement four and armor nine, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, that's that's dwarves, Jimmy. I mean, that's you know, I know there are such things as dwarf mains. I feel a bit sorry for them. Um, I'm all about the elves. <laughs> 
Purple chest, the famous elf coach. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There's no disagreement here, Jim. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And he's just backlining. Quick snap. Oh, mm. I fancy this. I fancy it for quick snap. Yeah, and he's got some frenzy, so he might be able to do something. No. I mean, probably not, yeah. Quick snap, well, quick snap. Quick snap. I fancy a quick snap. Fancy a quick snack. <laughs> but seven Dark Elves, even with two frenzy, are not one turning. Particularly not with one reroll, which you won't want to throw at it, because Dark yeah. Elves is such a long shot at rerolling. <laughs> More interesting is the fact that Muria has the fame, isn't it? So if we are getting any more rerolls, they're coming almost certainly that direction. So Jolene has to be even tighter, perhaps, with his. Um, yeah, maybe you just par this off. His one reroll. Has he still got an Apo as well, Muria? Yeah, he has. Wow. Well, Volk, it's because I'm playing elves on a different level to most other people, because. You know, I'm so well known for my elf play, so... <laughs> it's, it's not surprising that sometimes I think of things and they're just crazy, they're just... Things I mean, no one else has thought of with elves. Yeah. You've, you've got more wins than Naf with elves than dwarves, haven't you? Yes. He's an elf coach, what do you expect? <laughs> of course I have, because, you know, I'm an elf main, that's what I do, I coach elves. <laughs> Oh, Capo's in chat, wow. You got royalty. Yeah, we should, both, we should all shut up about one turns and whether it can or can't be done right now. <laughs> ARC. We should all see if Capo's VODs. I can't remember what the uh, what the thing is. Is it OTS, maybe? Look at that. It's it's on his YouTube. It's also on um, my YouTube as a, a highlight package, so if you're on my YouTube already, it's a couple of clicks away. Look at that, it's one click away. I've got I've got a command. I've got a command for for K. Yeah, my Dark Elves I really haven't done very well with on Blood Bowl 2, which is, is shocking. Obviously on tabletop I am. Well that's because you haven't played them. <laughs> I was gonna say I mean, I only, I only played a couple of games, haven't <laughs> I am undefeatable with Dark Elves on tabletop. Oh, yeah. And look at that, look at that high elf record, you know, seventy three point three it's it's not you think I'm joking? I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Elf. 21 games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Maria, also not like gambling on a the blitz there as well is interesting. Oh look, only 877 with dwarves. I mean, that's a, that's I've a played some dwarf games, yes. That's a surprisingly large amount for a high elf main, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, you're you're bringing up the past, Jimmy. You know, I mean, you used to shit yourself. You, you've you've you that was 40 years ago plus, but well, and a couple of years ago, but you, you know, you used to shit in a nap here. You don't anymore. We all have pasts. That's all I'm saying. I'm now an elf coach. It's no so playing. Playing. <laughs> Playing dwarfs is like shitting in a nappy, is that what you're saying? Basically. I'm saying, I'm saying we've all had pasts, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that surmises dwarf coaches pretty well, yeah. <laughs> well, this is it, isn't it? 50 50 to see who wins almost. Obviously, there'll be a bit of play and a bit of dice. But it l so much is riding and this, on and this. Of course, the kickoff result, which could go either way. You know, we could get the ball in going towards one set of peoples, but the kickoff result says, but no. Yeah. Um, so it's not 100% done with the overtime toss, but with the, the teams in the states they're in and the ball, you know, re rolls in the states they're in, you sort of think I'd give it 80% to whoever gets that ball. Yeah, it's, I, I think that's a fair, a fair assessment. A fair number I've plucked out of my arse completely and cannot justify in any way. But I'd it feels say about closer right. to seventy-eight <laughs> percent. Okay, okay. Well, you're wrong, but it's interesting that you've got a view. <laughs> Go back. 
Uh, and the Kaz skink does not come back. The Dark Elves win the toss. No, the Lizardmen win the toss. It says your opponent, and it has the lizards, but it doesn't mean that. If but you, the, yeah. The, yeah, it's so stupid, it's the wrong way around. So the lizards win the toss. Yes. Even players, it's looking very good for them. I would also like to take this opportunity to point to the fact that I did say that this would be the final and that the lizards were going to win. But, you know. Well done. You picked the two traditionally strongest teams in NAF to get to through past two very weak teams in this sort of format. I mean, call me a professional, right? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I've called you many things, Dimmy, but that's not one. Ants. Ants. Um, Ants? Where? <laughs> Ants. <laughs> Antsy. <laughs> yeah. Antsy and Scotty. Well, I mean, what hope there is for the Dark Elves rests in the Witch, particularly the Wrestle one. Um, it's finding another 5-plus dodge in, which is, of course, 55% if you've got dodge. It's using those inbuilt rerolls, so the blodgers. Um, I mean, hence the, why we've put all three on the line again, which I don't hate that. The, by the way, the KO finally came back, so he's back up to 9. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, to be fair, this game could have been over had he not activated the Crocs and moved the Skink, which is... Yep. Interesting. Correct. <laughs> While well, they set up a random fact, uh, during dinner tonight it transpired my children had, had no idea what the black and white minstrel show was. Oh, God, PC. That's, that's not a bad thing, PC. Mm. No, but it's a piece of the Zeke's of cultural history. So we showed them a full episode. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't. I showed them three seconds on YouTube and they were outraged. <laughs> but they're both very woke, but they have no idea where you know the term blackface comes from. That whole absurd thing where people dressed up that way and entertained Ooh. and made money doing it. Very weird. Interesting blitz choice on the inside. It's AV7, isn't it? Yeah, it's the AV7. But yeah. it's probably the correct blitz choice, in my opinion. Correct. And then he breaks armor on the AV8 blodger. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because blood bowl. I mean, I think you're right, Dim. If particularly as seems the case, if we're not planning to advance at all, we're just no, like, you're not. Hitting, you are. You got eight place and stabilized. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah, that's the right bit because the AV7. Yeah. Listen, yeah. You don't um, need to do anything crazy here. You just no. need. To Pick just need the ball to pick up. the ball up eventually, yeah. I would have, been, yeah. I would have had him one, one further out there, because you want to screen, pick up, I wouldn't have moved this over. I guess in case he goes stupid, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's going to activate the Crocs again, isn't he? But guess, get that Saurus past him, lovely. I would be tempted to go for the pick up before the Crocs. No, I might even uh, put a skink up to the left of the, uh, of the one that blitzed, to totally close that wing down without a blitz. Yeah. yeah. I suppose a blitzer would just come and two die it, but yeah. still, it would it would suck the blitz up. I wouldn't mean, just... I wouldn't have minded putting another guy. Oh, uh, is that is that a fail pick up? I wouldn't mind this. Uh, here's a fail pick up. It is and a fail. Doesn't pick. go for the reroll and the bubble box. Oh, uh, see if it bobbled through to it, it in front of him, I then suddenly my put a skink on the edge would have looked prophetic, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think there's I, one, I, two, I, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's very difficult to try and get anything there, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably more yeah. like you come through here and just get something uh, around here. You can get five players around. Well, you can't. Even get... I mean, yeah, you can get players into the backfield. What you can't do is get anywhere near the ball. No. Yeah. Oh, and the problem is, is that you're not long enough on elves that if you do that, it wouldn't stop them with the pace of skinks. They could just disappear forwards eight spaces into a, a lovely cage. The Saurus have created sort of, you know, three or four ahead of the halfway line. Yep. Yeah. But it's the only way you're going to win, so you've got to go for it. It is. Ultimately. I don't like this. I don't like doing this. What is going on? Yeah. I don't even know what's yeah. going on. Like that. I've lost the plot, Jim. Well... That was. Uh, oh my god, he rerolls it. 
a thing that happened. Do I not like that? The one, I mean, when the ball is deep, and that is the, I think you've got to take that, don't you? I mean, just blitz with the tackler, so you don't have to frenzy yeah, trap yourself. Yeah, a frenzy trap, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, just don't frenzy trap yourself. Like, the blitzer was literally right here. Well, I mean, I confess I'm slightly biased. I'd rather the Saurus is one. Mm. Just, I did get... I did get a two die, you know, proper tackle ball sack on the ball carrier with Jay Lee, and it was mm -hmm. just the fact that it all bounced beautifully for him. Oh, he rolled the one. Well, only so got one feel like in the backfield. I had slightly the worst of the dice. I mean, that said, I've got nothing against Jay Lee. He played fine. It just, he did leave it open for me to sack his ball. It wasn't even very difficult. <laughs> An elf Huge. main wanting lizards to win. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That must have been an epic elf mirror then that you had with Jay Leaf. It, it really was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I was a bit down. Is obviously I should have been coaching elves, but for some reason I, I went with the old-fashioned me. You know, the me of the past. The young me that, that, that coached wars. <laughs> They had too many but elf I, games, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I think I was probably just elfed out. I think that's probably true. <laughs> this is still a scary pickup. It is, yeah, yeah, because you still can't re-roll it. Like, you still can't re-roll it. No, I think this time you have to. Yeah, no. I think you have to re-roll no, re it. You've got one re-roll, and once you've got the ball in your hands, that you shouldn't ever need it again. You've got enough pieces to have a, a, a H cage, so that dodging it isn't a 5, it's a 6. I mean, I would have had him one forward, and then him one forward, you know, so it wouldn't bubble out. And yeah, then would, then yeah, well, re yes, if you could, if you could, could blah, 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 it words. <laughs> if you'd taken the time to create a better bubble box, then you can afford to let it go. But that witch is a worry, the wrestle witch, she's too damn near. There we go, no problem. I wouldn't re-roll this, because oh. I'd have picked it up first time. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that he's moved this skink here. Like, okay, it did it did it did a thing in case the ball, like, so you know, in case the pickup failed, because then these two these two can come out, so it stopped. That. Yes. But now it means he can't cage. Yes. Perfectly. Well, it's where I said it should have been last turn. Um, this turn, it's if it started there, great, and then it could move. But as you said, with it moving, it meant that really he had no option once picking up except staying in place. Three, four. He can he can hit the ball. Imagine if he hadn't used his reroll. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, he can't. He's one shot. Yeah, that means they jump. Four plus dodge. One, two, three. Four, no, no, five. just do the two off the the Saurus. Can you? One, two, three, four, five, six, four. seven, eight, nine. Oh, they're all threes, aren't they? Yeah. So three, three, two, three, 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 just to get two die with it. That's a hell of a lot of threes. Yeah, shit. Yeah, both the skin can get these off. Yeah, get them back in the game. They've still got, you know, two thirds of the pitch to advance. Baser, baser skink. I think you have to dodge off with that line. Yeah, you, you, do, you do. You do. No, I think that was fine. He I mean, surfed him now. He's going to get surfed. If he surfs, though, then, then he's not dealing with your th four L's that you've got in front of the ball, right? Yes, the, the good well, it depends. the witches it depends and the, if the witch blitzers. Makes it, yeah. If you don't make these dodges, you've lost anyway, basically. So I just think you play for like plenty routes, you know. You've got to. Yeah, you no, play fair play, play fair play. So I mean, the he'll take the block, but taking the blitz action on that surf is probably not going to give him good field position. Mm. Though well, he like, can just no, swap to the other side. No, 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 you come up to the Croxagore now. Because he's going to dodge that blodger. And then. He and is going to dodge the blodger yeah. and screen you. So you I, come I over to the I right, not, it's I fine. I not like dodging where I like, I like pinning the Crocs there. Yeah, I like pinning the Crocs. Yeah, you can come to the Crocs now. Particularly as I'm going to go. Yeah, I think as the lizards, I go over to the right. There's that free Saurus to the right of the Wrestle Witch. One, which help you, you complete your four cage. Yeah, yeah, these two are and you've got, corners you've got, as well. You've got two I sources hit, up ahead yeah. to aim for next turn. Yeah, no, 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 I this hit the turn. lino. 
I hit the um, lino and it, on the left by the croxagore. If you pow it, then I blitz the blodger with the saurus, and then I bring everyone up by the croxagore. No, I, I would block these two. And see what I block. Does. Block those two. Move the I'd have moved the crocs over there around the back of the dodge blitzer. I want them blitz the wrestle witch. No, yeah. Like yeah you've got a full cage witch. here. Like you, in fact, you don't even need to block these first, right? You can just—you've got a full cage already. Like yeah, these yeah. Two that's what I said. Add, add that empty saurus in, and you've got two sauruses, two skinks. You've got a full cage, and then those two sauruses are hitting, ready for you to have somebody go next turn. No, but that, you, then, you, you yeah, can go there this turn with these two. They, they can. You, yeah, oh, okay, it, okay. It, he hasn't done it, but you, you could have had them this turn. You could have just moved up here and been there this turn, right? Like this. yes, yeah. If you've done those fast. blocks first, yeah, this they are. If you've done those fast. blocks first, you could have got all the way up there. Yeah, but like yeah, you're right. Yeah, but this gives JD the five plus dodge in wrestle. Yes, it does. Yes, except he's put it on the Crocs deliberately. Yeah, so I know. Makes... But he can he can knock the Crocs off easily unless he bases someone with a skink. Yes, I think he'll be reinforcing that Crocs to try and make that a three plus dodge for with the wedge. What though? With what the skink? Mm. Uh, the skink that's the to the left of that Crocs. But yeah, I mean, then he just hits the skink and then he can still hit the crocs and still dodge in. Good point. And the, can't hit the, well, he could, he Yeah, can't he can't hit the, hit the one on the right because of where he's built his cage. He kind of can. He's like, an uphill here isn't going to change a lot, is it? So I guess he can. Yeah, I guess he can. You're right. It's fine, but it's still not. Yeah, it's not what I would I'm not done, comfy but, with it. No, neither am I, but I, after watching other streamers play. Them yeah, like you're that. right. I know, and mm -hmm. get constantly, it's fine, Jim. Mm. And yet, you know, you take one go for it in an entire drive, and you guarantee it's going to be a snake. It's just, yeah. oh, no one's as diced as I am. Oi, I'm the most diced man in Blood Bowl, and that is a fact. <laughs> I've got, I've got the stats. Well, you should try, you, you should try elves, Timmy. It's, it's much easier. If it's <laughs> yeah, just an elf coach roll a few two, two. Twos or threes, and you can sort it out. That's oh one of the God, great things about Elf. Oh, oh, he's not hit the crocs. And he's not he's no. not cancelled assists or anything. Yeah, this is bizarre. It's terrible. That's what it is. I think that might just be a brain fart. Yeah, it is. It's a long old game, isn't it? Yeah. And they're, they're on their third game, and it's overtime. But this yeah. is just a four plus in as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is a big Yes, really it is. Nice. This this was the turn to really go for it. So I mean, even then, it's still a one die when you get in. You still go for it. Yeah, but it should have been a two D, shouldn't it? Like, it should have been. For it been a 2D. No, it's shocking. Yeah, that's he's literally bad. got a free guy here. He's just in, you know, especially if you're not going to punch the cut. I mean, I, I can totally forgive you for not cancelling. So, it wasn't well, no, he's got he's got the follow up here. Yeah, well, yeah, though. this is okay. So it wasn't two into two, but. It's two it should certainly well, have been two into one or two into reds or something. Yeah, yeah it had to be two it, D it, first. It, the, the two D was so easy that it had to be. You had to. Yeah. Rude not to. But yes, he's got another one. But this is a blockless wrestleless two die now. Yeah, yeah but you take. I mean, it can still down. be good. You still take no, it. Re -rolls. Yeah, you... Oh, he's got the reroll, isn't he? He saved the reroll. So. No, yeah, he, re -roll. he's putting people in place so that he can take the boat both down. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gets the lovely big pal, though. Oh, no! no. We game on. He might, just score. he might just score here. Gets the 30%. And the bounce out. Absolutely oh perfect. God. Well, almost perfect. One back from there, I suppose, would have been perfect. But uh, do you come with the... Yeah, of course, you come with the witch. Because your other blitzer, for some reason, has tackle, not dodge. Yeah. Because, of course, he does. Oh, my God. Well, I haven't failed the three plus, which surprised me. I might have to think, rethink this whole elfing thing. I thought three pluses were just, you know, because you didn't have to do very many. I thought they worked. <laughs> oh my god! As a professional elf man, how would I build my witches? Um, I put I. Uh, how do I build my witches? You mean I build my witches? I put wrestle on both. Mm. Um, if it's for a league or for CCL, then I would have a wrestle witch and a block witch. Um, but for NAF, particularly for the modern style with less effective apoths, uh, I think you need two wrestle witches. Mm. So if one gets hurt, you've still got one to do all your elfing. Oh my god. ARC, hey, you thought I'd just talk, but no. I'm full on elf now. 
Do you know what's funny, right? In in this in this thick skull, first skill, NFL fantasy football league, I, I'm two and zero, and I'm playing the guy who's two and zero. I think he's the a champ last season, but but he, I think I think he was top of the power rankings that Jack Bull made, and everybody else is getting like over seventy points, and I've got forty eight, and he's got thirty five. <laughs> Somehow I'm beating him, despite doing the second. I've got the second lowest points total in the league, but I'm winning. <laughs> oh, that's a huge that's armor break. Incredible, but yes. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, you know, I know this is very exciting, but... It is, it's the thriller. I mean, it's more exciting than... Oh, and that's disgusting. It is actually exciting, because he got the ball down, I know it was. But I just... I still oh, there just goes a witch! Up. Oh, they yeah, so uh, oh, just that's a poor that poor elf. That's the wrestle witch. Had a future. I've got a feeling he might re-roll this one if he fails yes. it. Yes, yes, you re-roll this pickup. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I mean, I'm not an elf professional like PC over there, but uh... yeah, I would definitely put the re-roll. Should have moved time, this king first as well. That was. I mean, unless you're going to leave him there, okay, but I, I would have got that skink involved, right, to try and... Run yeah, around. he's doing nothing there. Except tagging the leader. Not advance that, once you hit. Oh, he gets the pick up as well. And now it's a 3 plus dodge to cage yeah, the, this guy the Polar Quatrix. <laughs> the Polar Quatrix? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there we go, there it is, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that was a turn, wasn't it? Oh, yes, I mean, that was a yeah, that turn. was, it is witch, now. Blitz the uh, armor break on the, the other witch, and now Jay Leaf just has to roll dice and pro. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got, again, he's got like an easy kind of way in, hasn't he? With easy? It's five plus, that's pretty easy. It's, it's five plus. Two, couple of twos to cancel the thing. Yeah, but the, what are you the, going? The tougher thing is going? Oh, you're going with the dodger, right? So, but yeah. then how do you get? How do you cancel the assists? No, oh, that's this one on. does another two plus. Well, no, it wasn't even another two plus. Single two plus to cancel. There you go. And in we go. Easy, just like I said. Boom. Two die. Big old pal. Oh stall, my god. But... Oh, look, elves. Elves being elves, no big That's luck. why we love them, Jim. <laughs> That's why we're elf friends. Straight out the other side on a 3 2. Has he, has he picked up on a 3? A 5 plus dodge. Yeah. No, he this is this is why he very cleverly wasted, all, wasted his rerolls. <laughs> so your, dwarf, your dwarf runner can't do that, can it, Jim? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> no, see, that's why we do That's why we do our elfing. He hasn't actually failed a 5 plus in, has he? And Your long beard's not going to sack in the middle of a cage, dodge out through that cage, and pick up the ball in a tackle zone on the outside of it, is he? Because if you did, people would say you were cheating. Yeah. Do it. Do it with an elf, though. And everyone's like, "Yeah, that's elfing." Yeah, See? that's completely normal. <laughs> completely yep. normal elf. That's just elves. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Do you remember how we were saying that Jay Leaf was just about to lose? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look quite that way now, does it? Elves. Mm. And it but being on a. Lodge blitz stuff, which he only had two of. Cause oh, he that tag! More. That tag is almost the nail in the coffin, right? Oh. It's it makes things quite tricky. Yes, if Ooh. only Sauruses weren't incredibly fast and strong. Well, he's got like um, it's a one in nine to free a a Saurus to hit it with block. Yeah, but it's only um, a two D unless it's no, no. You can bring down three D. You can. You can. It's three D fairly easy. Him. Got him in. Three now, you see the Saurus, oh, okay, yeah. either the Saurus just over the halfway line actually, to the left can come in and give the assist, at which point you can hit the Blodger with the Skink for two die, freeing up your block Saurus, and then the one on the right up by the halfway line, just this side of it, can come down oh, and give the other assist the to give you the three dice. And just no, gonna have a skink to Hoover up afterwards. It's just gonna put the Crocs in for the third dice. Yeah, That'll do too. Yeah, yeah it does, we, does it makes too. sense because then when you we, when you blitz him, you're pushing him in between. You push him the, into the between the the skink that's moved and the Crocs. Yes. I prefer, but the issue I prefer with that, this guy down for the assist. Yeah, the issue with this yeah, is yeah, uh, that one is the wrong one to me. The one to the left. Yeah, him exactly. Mm. Always bring the furthest one away if they're stopping because that one had. Other things it could have done afterwards. Yeah, like get in Pals, the way of the. Pals is blitzer. Well, he's that's uh, he's had two pals now. 
That's the wrong but picture, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is the dice where he needs the power. Yeah. But he's got the re-roll. He's, he's got a re-roll. It's six dice to Oof. knock over a, a, power, a blodger. He got him! Not on the what? first three. Oh. But it's there on the second. Only one power out of those six dice, remember? I mean, this is this is creeping towards kicks, ladies that's, and gentlemen. That's one of the it things our self coaches rely on. That as a blodger, if they haven't got tackled, very <laughs> very hard to take you down. This is a uh, <laughs> that witch is in range though, isn't she? So uh, yeah, fail yeah, pick up. Which... Why isn't he going to square up? Oh, square cause... down, do you mean? Yeah, no, because he's picking up that skin. Yeah, he should have been. Yeah, 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 he should have been one down. If he could have been here, he should have been. Yes, he well, could have been, he's, and he's he should have been. He's covering. The because if this pickup, but he's if got this, this. pickup fails. Yeah, but you see, if you know elves, Dim, um, you'd realise that if he was one south, then if the pickup fails, the elf dodge through pickup score and win game is less likely. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, way yeah. Better, it'd be better, and he could be there as well. Like he could have been there, and he could have been there, and then you would have been in a cage. See, that's why Jim needs oh, me here, that, that, that elf eye. Um, <laughs> and I still don't necessarily like where that Saurus is, because uh, the same, you know, knowing, knowing well, my elf odds as I do, Jim, I can tell you that I can 3+, plus, 2+, plus, and then hit that ball carrier still. 4+, plus, 3+, plus at the moment. Yeah. Anyone else. Oh, yeah, because of the tail, so, yes, 4-3. Yeah. yeah. Your elf I've, I've, I've got dodge to help with that, so it's a 1 in 4 fail. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, followed by, a, even if Dodge has gone a 1 in 3, and a 1 in 9 if it hasn't. So, mm. still pretty good odds of hitting the ball at the good, King. Yeah. Can't yeah, do can... much afterwards. Try and bring a Witch round, maybe. Yeah, I, I like I like my Elves to be quite relevant. <laughs> you're quite... quite you, 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 you like quite your involved. Elves to be... You like your Elves to be quite short and slow and well-armoured. <laughs> oh my god, he's caught it! To me the past, <gasps> oh, he's too gym. far away! Oh my god, I thought you I thought you had the range there. Oh, that's, oh, that's oh see, that, my god. That's why everyone loves That's why everyone loves the elves, see? What is do, this when game? When we do stuff like that, it just brings the crowd alive. What is this game? Holy shit, I thought he had it once he caught it. Oh my god. That is god. sweet like chocolate, baby. That is sweet like elf chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what this game is anymore. It's Blood Bowl, <laughs> I'm not sure. And now right, so you move no the crocs the first. Flip you move the crocs first to see if it can move, and you do the same thing again. You trap it if it is a push between the crocs and a saurus. Yeah, it uh, has been a great final, hasn't it? This was. It's been a great final. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> imagine if the final had been me versus Spider. <laughs> this, this has been great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just that's the, shame the right that, spot for the crocs. It's just a shame that Spider. Totally outclassed you, Jim. That's the thing, isn't it? He yeah. outplayed you, Jim. Yeah. yeah, we can say that. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, like, it's good that it hasn't been a comedy mega, even though, like, over there's there no, been a there's few no re roll for this one, though, right? No, and it's been pretty well played by both. They've neither of them played immaculately, but it's the end of a long, hard weekend. I think the, they've yeah, played, pretty, pretty, they played pretty good blood bowl. It's been fun to see. And in fact, Maria's mistake has made it closer and more thrilling, hasn't it, with the, in the first yep. half? Yeah, Muria will kick himself if he doesn't win this. Just splitting yes or no. I know. I was thinking about that corn night, and I can't decide. I think it probably is because if the ball bounces through between them and the sideline, that's probably a better defensive position for the lizards. Oh, gets the power. Um, that was my thinking, but I'm, I couldn't hundred percent tell you. However, it has bounced to the inside, so I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> oh, I want to see it also it also looks like the lizards ain't scoring, right? So yeah, isn't it? yeah mean, the lizards yeah. aren't scoring. Yeah. Boy, he's got to throw a skink up there, hasn't he? He's got, Has he got skink, one up there. He's got a skink, yeah, that dent dodge. There's, there's one up he's there. He's got a skink that dent dodge and an elf that dent hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a fascinating game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Is now, that's chem? interesting. He's put in the skink in case of the failed pickup. Whereas I might have gone for the foul and then the pickup. But. Uh, well, on the blodger? I just want, yeah, I want that blodger off the uh, field. 
I mean, he's still got time. Well, the problem is the other one is only a, a three-two away. Yeah, the other. As every, as every elf knows, dangerous. if you've got three-two and dodge, you know that's well, just. He's got to punch him, and he's got to punch him before the pickup. It's an Amazon one. followed by an elf mm -hmm. dodge, isn't it? Yeah, maybe oh. have punch him. Yeah, maybe punch him first before you do the pickup. Yeah. With the one, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, we've got it. to move that blodger further up the field, away from us. Yeah. Oh my God! Even our time. Oh, oh wow, 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 Wubsy. Well, oh that's my poor. God, so that's too very And more. then three, two for two D, and then maybe score. Oh my God, this is crazy. You just stand up to cancel, and you can two D just by hitting it. Oh yeah, 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 but then you can't score. Then you can't score. So it is that. Yeah, I would. I think you try. As you say. Yeah. Two, two, yeah. to, uh, he's blitzing the skink. He's randomly switched gears and being lying on. Happy to rely on. Kicks. Oh. That is a disappointing turn. Well, he is plus one for the kicks. He's, it's zero. It's zero zero. Oh, it's zero zero. Mm. Oh, I'm reading the fan factor. Uh, well, I think that's cray cray. I think it is a little bit. But I mean, with that skink stunned, that pretty much ends their chances of. Scoring at all. Is it? So is it? Oh, yeah. He feels he'll get. See, that was the thing. Just stand up, and that's two die, and at least he hasn't got the ball in his hands. Yep. And because it's near his tackle zone, if he fails a you know a three plus next turn, you've got some sort of elf chance See, as but, an elf. But he made the dodge PC, so <laughs> you know I think wow. there's a lot to be said for doing the two plus to tag there, and then the two D there, and then maybe you just score and win. He's gone for the foul. He's, yeah, just going for the foul here. The fact he did neither is interesting. Well, it means it guarantees he won't lose till the kicks. Yep. It's, it, it, Except it, he's only stunned it again, so it's it's actually technically. Is it? Still going to be in range, I think. I think it's very close. It's double GFI if it is yep, in range. Yep, this can score. That skin can score. This, these two Saurus can score. Mm. These two Saurus can score. Scorus? Scorus, yeah. <laughs> they're Scorus because they're going to score. A scoring Saurus is a Scorus. I, I must admit, though, this has been... It's been a cracker of a game of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Very evenly matched. Great pretty, fighting, well, yeah. pretty well coached by both. No glaring huge errors by either. I mean, a couple of little things here and there. but I think I think Murray is going to be kicking himself. Oh, uh, gets the big old pal. Ooh, he no, you know, no, he's, go he's going for the, the surf. He's going take for the, the surf. Bush. Which I think is correct here. I don't know. Like maybe that's wrong as well. I don't know. Well, maybe Murray gives up on scoring himself. Brings back all these three Saurus. I If this cross goes, goes silly head, I'm going to laugh because that's going to give him a reasonable chance at at least a one die on the ball with another elf to pick up. It's going to be tricky though because he can bring all of them back. Yeah, he's just bringing all of them back. He's just giving up now on scoring himself. Well, he hasn't given up entirely because he's still got the long bomb to the skin. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's basically giving up. Right? I mean, he was. It, to oh, be fair, the, um, all he, he had he was these on a. Can, he can't, on a he can't risk the long bomb because the dark elves act last. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so he's, 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 he's going for the 50 50. Blodger. If he powers that bodger and armor breaks, then he can absolutely go for it. Yeah, okay, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. If he powers it and armor breaks, yes. Yeah. But otherwise, as long as you can get an elf in the end zone, you can't just go randomly passing a ball up the field needing a six. Because any elf can pick it up and on a four usually get it into the end zone. Just gonna foul this kink again, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Just guarantee that you get fifty fifty chance. Imagine if he hadn't done that fucking stupid one D with a witch elf. No offense to him, but you know, that that one D the one yeah, D it wasn't, crap. it wasn't good, was it? You'd have been big favourite on the kicks then. What about that lovely? That's um, it, we're going to kicks. Yep. What about the lovely two red into three? Well, red? I guess Let's, Jay let's not forget that. No, yeah, but a long old game, Jim. He needs to mm. dodge out and bring these guys down, and then like. Yeah, Jay Lee's free rolling for the win now, isn't he? Yes. He can do any crazy play he wants. <laughs> and he hasn't blitzed yet either, has he? He hasn't. So. He can four plus no five plus in, no four plus in for the two D out and then watch Maria panic trying to pick it up. He can three three two two to cancel the assist. Yep. And then dodge out and in and hit him. Yeah.
and I guess you do the two plus and get the tackle guy in the range first, right? Yeah. yeah. Needs to make a meat cube. Well, yeah, if he did that in the first half, he would have won already. Yep. Potentially, barring. Well, the whole game would have been different, you know, because it changes how every oh, coach yeah, thinks. Yeah, that's nice, Cornite. That's a nice shot from Cornite. Uphill. No, then be a one day. Why has he done that? No, that's not so easy. No, that's long, tired day of blood bowl. Yeah, I don't know what that was. And then failed dodging off in the wrong direction, so I don't have any sympathy. Well, I think that is now. We are going to see the glory of kicks. Yep. I'm excited, Jim. I might go for a funny. cigarette and come back at the end. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in a bit, Jim. Bye, mate. <laughs> yeah, let us know how it goes. You can, you can fail, can't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Well, why we've had two full weekends of Blood Bowl when we could have all just cut straight to the glory that is kicks coming up ahead of us with no rerolls. So it might just be one kick. We might see two kicks. Yeah, yeah might just see one kick. Yeah, yeah, two kicks. Yeah, one nil. Could yeah. be one nil. If either of them failed, then they, you know, if either only rolled a one, then we would only see two kicks. Yeah, very exciting. Oh, I mean, if only he did more Saurus fouls during the game, he might have won. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have this perspective of the Premier Elf coach to uh, guide us through these kicks. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I'm the Premier Elf coach, Jim, not yet. Well, in the but booth certainly you I think are. if you're, you're, if you're, you're the elf coach in the, in the booth, booth. I am, yeah, I am the main Elf coach in the booth. <laughs> but certainly I think if you are discussing Elves, then it's, you know, an Elf coach, is, it's, it's only reasonable my name crop up, as I, yeah. I do specialise in Elf play. Right, here we go. Oh my god, an hour and 40 minutes, and it's a coin toss. <laughs> but a dramatised one with particularly okay. slow graphics. Okay, the, the Witch Elf scored, and then so did the Crocs. It's 1-1. One, one. They've both rolled at least a 2. Well, don't spoil it, Jim, because I'm watching it on your stream. <laughs> when he's sharing screens that you don't have to. Yeah, I know, but... Oh. Yeah, I, I flip over there to see what the hoi polloi chatters are saying. At least Gosh. a three for Jer Leave. At least a three oh. for Maria. God Oof. damn it, this is tense. Oh, I didn't oh, like the angle. Jer Leave oh, Jer Leave has rolled a three. Miss. So if the lizards can get it over, they win. The tension mounts. I mean, of course, they have they miss, to go to another <laughs> kick. No, I don't think it happens. I oh, just think they make it's it. over. Yeah. The lizards win. Yep. Well, there you wow. go. It was 4 3. Wow. Well, congratulations, Maria, and commiserations, Jay Leave. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh great. God. I mean, it was a great final, to be fair, wasn't it? It sucked that it, it was decided by kicks. But, um... It was a cracky game of Blood Bowl, and what a festival of Blood Bowl this has been. Um, my huge thanks to everyone involved in organising it, and to the legendary, uh, the dame of Blood Bowl himself, Andy Davo, for um, for deciding this would bring him fame and riches. Yeah. Uh, sorry, for also having the idea and getting involved in organising it. Yeah, great, great tournament, and, uh, you know, there, there will be more of them, I guess, and... Yeah, it was pretty cool, wasn't it? Pretty cool, so yeah, congratulations. I thought it was fun, Maria. yeah. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, me too. Congratulations, Maria. Commiserations, Jay Leave. Thank you very much, Dimmy and PC. Absolutely glorious. Bye now. <laughs> okay. Bye now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic, and bye now.